Hello, my name is Mark Nagus, Technical Advisor for Top One Oil Products USA. Today we're going to go to our state-of-the-art laboratory in Los Angeles, California. The laboratory testing process is vital to our quality control process for producing the highest quality synthetic lubricants. Our laboratory department has five technicians on our team that conduct a full range of specialty testing and quality support services. Our factory is ISO 9001-2008 certified, ensuring that all activities surrounding the top one oil production process are planned, documented, tested, and performed by highly trained individuals. Our laboratory has over 85 years experience in performing the highest level of quality control testing in industry. We have implemented five QC steps. Step one, which is order entry, all orders are double checked for accuracy as they initially enter our system. Step two is pre-production. Because we understand that starting with excellent materials is crucial for creating high quality products, our purchasing team is directed to select only the finest ingredients available and all of our raw materials are checked for quality on arrival. Step three is production. Once blended, all top one products go straight into our laboratory where they are tested for accuracy and quality. Step four is filling. After the order passes the first stage of testing, the order is sent to its fill point and retested to guarantee top one oil products meet strict specifications. Step five is shipment. Once completed, the order is staged for shipment and the selection of products and quantities are compared with the original order for accuracy. Well, our laboratory is very well equipped to do research and development. Uh, we have a number of technicians here that are very well equipped in what they do. Um, one thing that we do pride ourselves in is, is the fact that we are able to solve people's problems. Oftentimes, many of our customers come to us with specific needs or specific applications. We can take the performance requirements that they, that they need and we can develop a product to meet those requirements. Uh, it entails putting the right um, additives together, the right base oils together to make sure that we meet the performance parameters they're trying to achieve. We are very creative. Uh, we look at different opportunities. We look at the highest quality additive systems and we look to develop the most innovative products out in the market today. Uh, we were built on innovation. We were built on solving people's problems. So we don't just go with the standard, state, you know, standard uh, run-of-the-mill additive systems. We always look for something that's going to give us an edge, something that's going to give us the highest performance product. Uh, in that sense, we make sure that we always use the most effective and most uh, dynamic type of additive systems out there today. Well, I can tell you that the first key piece of equipment is our viscosity tester. Uh, it's referred to as kinematic viscosity. Viscosity is probably one of the most important physical properties that we measure. And it's really the oil's resistance to flow. The higher the resistance, the more thicker the fluid, the lower the resistance, the thinner the fluid. We use this to control specifications to make sure that we meet uh, specification limits for all the products that we manufacture. Uh, the X-ray fluorescence is what we use to determine metals within engine oils, heavy-duty diesel engine oils, uh, motorcycle oils, anything that contains metallic components. It, it's a very crucial piece of equipment that we use each and every day. We have specifications set for each and every product that we make and we have to make sure that the metals are within those specification limits. Well, the pour point apparatus is essential to uh, testing of all the engine oils that we make, including passenger cars, heavy duty diesels, and motorcycles. It really determines the lowest temperature that you can take an engine oil down to or whatever product you're making, and it's still fluid, because if it's being used in cold temperature applications, you wanna make sure that it flows as you're putting it into the application. Okay, well, first of all, CCS referred to as cold cranking simulator. Uh, it tests the low temperature properties of multi-grade engine oils whether it be heavy-duty diesel, whether it be gasoline, or whether it be motorcycle oils. It measures the lowest temperature you can take an engine oil down to 
and still start your engine. Because if the fluid becomes very viscous or thick, then you're not going to be able to start your engine, you're going to have uh, engine oil starvation, and you're going to have your battery go dead. So it's a really the lowest temperature that you can take your engine down to and start your engine. Well, density meter is a very important piece of equipment for us, especially when we're filling product. When we make a batch of, of engine oil or whatever we make, uh, we do measure the specific gravity or pounds per gallon. But we also have to make sure that we measure the specific gravity or pounds per gallon of product that we fill. Since it is a volumetric fill, we have to make sure that we take that number so we make sure we put the right amount of fluid into the bottle or whatever container we're, we're actually packaging. Uh, it's a piece of equipment that is, is crucial and integral to what we do. And of course, we need to make sure that it's always up and running and working properly. NOAC volatility is an extremely important test. It measures the volatility or evaporation rate of engine oils, whether it be heavy duty, uh, passenger car, or motorcycle. Essentially what we do is we subject the oil to a very high temperature and we look at the rate of evaporation. It has to adhere to SEJ300, which is an industry standard, not to exceed 15% for passenger car motor oil. We also adhere to GB standards, which is a tighter specification of 13%. The reason why we do that is we want to make sure that we are always exceeding the performance properties and giving the customer the highest quality synthetic lubricant possible. Each compound, each chemical, uh, each product that we manufacture has a specific infrared spectrum which is a fingerprint of that compound. It absorbs at different wavelengths within the infrared spectra and based on that we can determine what it is. We use this for new product development, we use it for quality assurance purposes, we use it to make sure that we have the proper amount of additive within the system. We have a library set up in our infrared um, apparatus so we can compare and overlay uh, finished products, raw materials, anything we need to to make sure that we meet the product's quality.